Hello, 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 hello. Uh, my apologies for the slight delay. How are we all? Hello to Pontus Benson, Kelly, uh, Gameristic, Alex, Andrew the Astronaut, Gallifrey and Ren, White Raider 12, Pontus Benson, Pulsar, uh, Hatter Rodney JJ, have I said hello to you? No, I hadn't said hello to you, so hello to you, Hatter Rodney JJ. Oh, Jesus, tripping over the words. Um... Yeah, I've read all those ones. Uh, anybody else? To, to, to make a combat submarine with Sams and torpedoes and to kill the Ukraine plane to build or so ago. Ambassador to rescue down pilots in the territory for suggestions. Don't miss any. Hello! Yes, hello to everybody. Let's get going with this. So what was people saying earlier? Oh. Right. Rescue craft for extract extracting downed pilots. A space freighter. Don't forget your drink. I have my drink. Oh, right, it's lemonade. Which has been chilling in the sort of the eaves around the um because we've got under eaves storage because this this is basically a loft conversion so we've got sort of under eaves storage all around it in look you can get to through a couple of cupboards so and that's kind of a little bit more exposed to the outside temperature than um yeah because this is nice and insulated so it's uh, kind of nicely chilled what was i doing first of all actually we're just going to go, if this will let me actually get the slightest bit of control over it. You see, this actually is, is quite quick. I don't know why the thing in the space plane hangar is, is quite so... Um, is quite so... Oh, no, hang on. No, 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 no. Hello, Soup! Hello, Jennifer Gwenta! Before we get started today, I need to reload the start file. Because we need to say hello to somebody. See, this is so smooth. Need to say hello. A proper hello. Overcooked food. Ah, oh, that's not good. I just want to check something quickly. There is indeed a new patron Kerbal for a new patron. I'd like you to say hello to Soup Kerman, because I like soup is now um, one of us, one of us. Anyway, um, yes, so I suppose I don't really, I don't normally like initiate Kerbals, but <laughs> I don't really have any plans to change that, but we are in the A1000, so while we're here and we've got some, a few minutes... Stuff. Eh, eh, not you, not you. Weapons. Go eight. Ah, I hideously, uh, that's not where I want to go. No, ah! Oh, for God's sake. This is your fault! Nah, I'm just kidding.
Let's go over the after the somewhat target rich environment, which is the um, R and D center. Really? Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Build a DO-335 if you want to challenge on it to go back soon and eventually just disappointing. disappointing. Not disappointing veggies. You getting some wing flex? Oh, we are getting a bit of wing flex. There, I wanted to get. Ah, right. We really should. Yeah, let's let's. Um, we can't. Can we revert to the space plane hangar? We didn't go through the space plane hangar. Yeah. Soup comes vegetables. <laughs> right. So I suppose we want something new. Um, so like a Kerbal Rescue Craft. How would you do that? I mean, do we want something that will land quickly and sort of can fend off land-based attacks while it retrieves the Kerbal. If you were to replace any fighter in your lineup right now, would it be the Lynx? It, I don't know. The Red Hawk. The Red Hawk needs a lot of work because it's just so squirrely and unstable, and not in a the good way that some craft normally do. That means they can actually use it to their advantage. It used to, it was the Lynx, and now I'm sort of swinging towards the Red Hawk. Uh, besides, I don't have the um, insides. Uh, an attack quadricopter. Limit options. Hmm. Just trying to think now. How could we? We might be able. You're making me think now. You're making me think. Which is more interesting for you than Build X Real World if you're playing Build a Supersonic Jet Bomber. I think I already did that. I build a hyper, build a hyper, yeah, because we've got Supersonic Jet Bomber, and we've got a Hypersonic Jet Bomber. What was the name of what was the name of my what was the name of my hypersonic uh, jet bomber? Da -da. Uh, let's turn you off. So the Raven was the that's my supersonic. It's the Condor. The Condor was the hypersonic one. I haven't got that out of the storage for a while. Oh, you did, yeah, you did. I'm kind of liking the idea of this... Hmm.
kind of make it like in the idea of like a Kerbal rescue craft that can go into like difficult situations. Small Miss Rescue Vehicle. How would we do this? Let's just, let's just for the sake of things, let's just, for old time's sake, let's have a look at the old Condor. The Condor! My hypersonic bomber. How many? 163. That's not that bad. Yeah. What's the crew capacity of this thing? Because I do have. So, forward crew capacity of 7 in that module there, and then I've got an additional. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, an additional 12 in this unit here. And if we go in here, we've got the bomb bays. Are these all? Yeah, these are all JDAMs. Oh, no, I do have some nuclear, I do have some snake eyes. Just a general purpose loadout. Okay. So two lots of snake eyes, one lots of nukes, and one lot of JDAMs. <laughs> do, do, do I want a precision such strike, or do I want very much not a precision strike? Up to you. Okay. Oh, that was a beautiful thing, though. That was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, <clears throat> but moving onwards. I lost my gonk in the switch to the next to the new PC. I've also lost the only thing that I could have to keep up the condor. You know what I'm working on next then. SSTO nuke them in. Now I like the idea of maybe something a bit smaller this time. Let me just check on something first. Um, before we leap into anything, I just want to check. So that's the standard Mark II cockpit. Okay. Uh, then let's say we had. Let's just stick on some fuel tanks because it doesn't matter because I'm only interested in the shape for the moment. Um. No, Mark II, just just some, some ordinary Mark II stuff. So we're we looking at sort of for a radar cross-section. Uh, detection 13 kilometers, uh, lock tracked at 11 kilometers or closer. Hmm. So I think maybe something like that. I mean, that's not as bad as... Because I'm thinking we probably want to make it a little bit stealthy as well. Some craft and try to take it with the SSTO rods from God Station. Just have a look at some of the other
Mark V cockpit. Let's not, let's not go, let's not start going into that sort of area. If it's not two but only one Kerbal. <laughs> Which the last Jedi build for the uh, for the Vulture? So it's a funny story. I didn't have one of the Twix scale components from my KSB modeled up with the textures and files and such, so I deleted every single mod and reinstalled the ones I had. Reason then realized Twix scale needed a Twix scale companion for Fire Spitter. Well, that sounds like it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, uh, not really. Oh, for God's sake, this thing takes so long to load. Um, so, I mean, we do have... My Vulture... If I keep going up long enough, we'll get there. Could be said that's a pretty decent Kerbal Rescue Craft. But I mean, ye gods. That's that. Mmm. Yeah, like, sort of like a Christmas tree springs to mind. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm just going through concept. I would like the idea of a Kerbal Rescue Craft. And as I said, something that can uh, something that can hold off attacks, but it's sort of also got to be able to kind of sneak in. Oh yes, yeah, procedural wings. That's why that's showing up. So I want something a little bit stealthy. going to need to have a little bit of capacity, crew capacity to it, so I think we'll just start off building something fairly bog standard. Um, we will need, it's not in payload is it, even though technically it could be considered that, utility. Because the th good thing with something like this is it wouldn't, it's not, well, it doesn't have to be just a rescue craft. You can also make it, um, you know, delivery craft as well. It can also drop things off. Yeah, I think we'll go with something along these lines. I'm going to need more than one fuel tank, aren't I? Because I'm going to want to balance. If we go for three of these, as long as the centre of mass is somewhere in this section here, everything should be tickety-boo! And if this is going to work the way I think it's going to work, 
We could also probably do with a Mark II cargo bay. I'm having ideas. I'm having ideas. Ideas are coming to me all the time. Um, where's the Mark II cargo bay? I'm going to take one of these out. Put one in there like that. Put another one there and upside down um, Yeah. Let's get the basic flying vehicle sorted first. I mean, this is already looking a little big. Um, uh, so we just want some. We just want. A, oh, we had a bit of a Mark II nose cone there. Was that all? Mark II cargo bay. It's a little thing at the end. I don't know what that would be useful for. But it might be useful for something. So we're going to have it. Right. I like the idea of a quadcopter as well. How are we doing? Let's take take all our fuel out. Holy moly, that pushes the centre of mass well far forward. That is not, to put it mildly, ideal. Hmm. How are we going to sort this out? I need more stuff at the back. Well, let's start working. Let's actually start working on... Uh, I'm just going to leave this till later. However, given the situation with that, no time like the present. Um, I want some robotics parts. The telescoping hydraulic cylinder. How target extension? Oh, that can go. That's that's maybe overkill. Is that going to be high enough? That might not be high enough by the time we get to doing what we want to what I want to do with this thing. <clears throat> Looking at the size of the cargo bay we have to work with, I'm not sure if what I have planned is a good idea. What I was thinking about was a little assembly here uh, which uses the M230 um, the M230 machine guns. Bigger they are. Right, I'm going to try something. 
and it might it, it it's it's almost certainly not going to fit in here. Let me look at the size of that thing. That's that's ridiculous. Um, we need the um, where are they? Cubic family medium strut. Bear with me here. This is either the most genius or the stupidest idea I've ever had. Okay. Right. So there is our basic assembly. Can you tweak scale? You can't tweak scale the hydraulic cylinders. Well, that's a bit of a bitch. Um, back to the robotic parts. I want the smallest rotor they have. That that is seriously the smallest rotor you have. Genuinely, I mean, if I was to close it now, hmm. Hang on, I've had a thought. I've had a thought. We get the little telescoping one back out again. Right. Once again, bear with me. Ugh. Laser cannon. This is scouting vehicles that drop ships or laser cannons. Rounds per minute uh, power scout ammo. Let's keep it vaguely vanilla -y. Why not? Um, I'm going to want to do this individually, aren't I? There's no actual... There's no way to actually f uh, find control. What I think I'm going to have to do is just do that and then later remove them from symmetry. Okay. Now, I removed you from... Si when I click on remove... I removed them from symmetry. Why are you... These should now be independent of each other. Why did you just... Why did one leap up... onto the other one? Because I was pressing the wrong thing. Am I press am I doing the motor instead of the thing there? Okay, just the M230.
Oh, why must you be such a... <sighs> One at a time it is. Right, so what we need to do is basically have four of these but fold it up in such a way that they fit into the cargo bay when they are idle. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I think uh, even then they're just a little bit too long. Yeah, I think the Mark II is maybe not the ideal. Maybe not the. Oh, I don't know. We might be able to do some a bit of cheeky clipping. Well, let's just see if if this will work in any way, shape, or form. So if I take this, tilt that about seventy-five degrees. And do likewise with this. Ah, oh, no, I've got the I got the thing, the motor, not the, the gun, right? Oh, damn it, I, I did the motor again, didn't I? Hopefully you can sort of see where I'm going with this now. And then we just want one final one. there. No, I picked up the motor again. And I can fiddle with the exact what you might call the doodjama flippies later. Okay. And we need to compact that down a bit. Oh, I removed the motor from symmetry. That's what might have gone been going wrong. Smith. Right. Now, we bring the target extension in to there. Oh, it's so close! Oh, damn it! Okay. No, not like that. Ah!
Okay, nothing showing on the top. So let's close this. How much wiggle room do we have here? Why is that one poking out more than the others? Gonna look a little a tiny bit jank, but I I just I feel the effect at the end of it will be worth it. There's a tiny little bit here and a tiny little bit that I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Right. Actions. So that's six. This is going to be toggle piston. Seven. These are rotors. They're not what I wanted. Oh my god! I am not having a good day. I wanted. A... Let's go back to robotics. Wanted a rotation servo, didn't I? Wanted a rotation servo. Oh my god, Smith! Would you calm, calm? Pretty flower filled meadow. Everything's fine. So, what do you have? Electric charge. How big are these things? They're not very big. Four of those, please. Let's start the rest of this all over again. Okay. Hang on, which way, which, which way is the right one, that one? place. It's about there. Right. Now I'll need to remove all these from symmetry, won't I? Okay. So... Target angle. We want this facing... Hang on, it was... 75 degrees from there and then we want 45 
The 75 plus 5 is 820. Minus 120. Okay. So 6, yep, 7. How do you do this? It's not like with the pistons, is it? You can't. Mm. Wait for Oh, jeez, it's nearly eight o'clock. Um. We can sort stuff like this later. We can sort stuff like this later. Let's just get it. Let's just get it so that it works. I we can fit it in the sodding cargo bay. Then we'll worry about the rest later. Right. It's almost like there's a little bit of clearance there, actually. Can you see it from the outside? Can you see those from the outside? You can. Okay. Oh. So this might be a little bit jank, but Oh, it's a tiny bit there. I'm not going to worry about that. I think that's I think that's job done. Okay, that's going to be the main weapon system. At the moment, it's it's going to be a little bit difficult to control. Uh, seven. We were going to do. Um, reset to build angle. That might be something with the cal controller. I don't know. Has that moved our centre of mass back much at all? No. Quick gross dude, Borg crab, hello. I haven't said it before, I should say it now. Super chat is now, would you like to help support the channel? That way, you like to help support the channel in any other way. That unlikes to the PayPal and the Patreon and the Discord. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like, uh, like you'll be seeing here shortly, like... Uh, scroll down. Um, th th this lot, this lot of represents, represents, including Soup Gurman, our new patron Kerbal. Thank you to I Like Soup for your support. Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? I've just. Like a quadcopter would be great. I need more weight further back. Um, I do know what we were going to do, actually. Let's just, I think, change a plan with this one. Because we, we are going to want a lot of stuff in here. Uh, let's go structural. I think I'm going to get a couple of cubic family strut, um, struts in here. This is a base to, um, sort of a structural base to uh, work things off of. So electronics wise, we are going to want, how big is a fuel cell rate? That's a chunky mother.
That is huge. Uh, how much is this? 0 0.24, so that's like five times the amount um, can produce. Fuel cells, you need oxidizer. Really? 1.5 per second. 18 per second. And this one gives you liquid fuel and oxidizer per second. That one does not. It's 1.5, so that's 12 times, but it's only about 5 times the mass. Sounds like a bargain to me. We will, however, have to replace these for liquid fuel oxidizer tanks. Because this sucker's electrical. Um, where were we? So we want Mark II. So I basically need Okay, so we're all good there. We have our little fuel cell. Actually, in terms of actually dragging mass back, would it be better to... Hmm. It'd be better to have the individual fuel cells. I am indeed incorporating the quadcopter idea. So what we're also going to need, we're going to need, I know what we are going to need just for this thing. Because I have a feeling this thing's going to be a little bit tricky to control. Let's get some reaction wheels going on in there. Um, things we also might need for things just like straight and level flight. going to want a couple on the back here as well but I can't fit them onto that so maybe I should have done that Cuh. yeah maybe I should have done that upside down Okay, where does that put our center of mass? Still too far forward. Right, I'm gonna take you out. Cause I'm gonna need at least one fuel tank sort of like dead on the center. <sighs> in front of the center of mass if possible, like one in front and one behind. But if we can only do one in front, then we can only do oh, slightly in front then that's all we're going to be able to do okay 
Um, wings. Wings, 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 main wings. I'm already there. Type A is just, yeah, that's just the big, it's just the big stuff like that. So, wing A. Okay. And we are going to want to aileron these up a little bit. So we're going to want landing gear. You know what I should be doing here? Just doing one of these and then I can sort of like just copy it over. Okay. Right here we're probably going to want structural. I want something a bit girthier than that. Pardon, if you'll pardon the phrase. Well, that's, oh, that's going to look so janky though. Aerodynamics, there's got to be a better way we can do this. There's got to be a better way we can do this. We can have to type I. sort of almost need it to come up to a point. So for that we are going to need type D's. No, not type D's. Type E. That might do us. Robotics. Um, AM three two S standard rotor. The last time we had something like this, that's probably going to be overkill. We're doing a quad. Let's see if we can stick it on the end of. Wing there like that. And bring you out a bit. Then what do we need? Then we go into the structural area. Let me 
we go for a standard rotor. And then for the aerodynamics. Ducted fan blade. Propeller blade. There was a there was an even smaller version. Not the helicopter blade. I could swear there were like three sizes. Propeller blade, ducted fan, but I could swear there was another size of these. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, oh my god, those are tiny. Propeller blades are actually bigger. Oh, no, I see. You get bigger and bigger ones. Oh, I see. Yeah. Which way are they supposed to go? Um, because normally they have uh, a but so this is supposed to be going clockwise. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, so what angle are they set to at the moment? They're set to okay, that's five, ten, fifteen. them on about, let's give them another so it's 20 and they'll gain another 20 if we need them to. So we deploy it. Why are you doing that now? Ah, uh, I'm gonna give up on this pretty quickly. So on that going clockwise, we want this going anti-clockwise. I think I'd best just do the one set of wings and check that works first. Uh, we're going to need, we're just going to need temporary landing gear on this thing. Power two 
Chocolate deploy. Chocolate deploy. Chocolate deploy. Chocolate deploy. We didn't name. And snap them on, placing them. Um, You can snap them without placing them individually. How do you do that? Like some boing. I need a name. Something. Something. A, a, a craft to, to come in and pick out Kerbals out of the Luxembourg. Oh, is that, is that name? Uh, something, something gives you, something swooping, something, uh, something jumping, hopping. A happy spinner. <laughs> Kerbal Kerbal <laughs> <laughs> Quadcopter quadcopter face. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. It's the peregrine. There you go. Easy enough. Let's see if these things can um officials. Squirrel. <laughs> uh oh. Right, so one should start it. We not exactly how I pictured that one going. Are these actually the inverse of each other? They are. The blades are facing in the opposite direction. This one is counterclockwise. This one is counterclockwise. This one should be clockwise then. Now hang on, they're linked by symmetry, so they're going to do the same thing, aren't they? doing the wrong thing these are okay so that's oh they're all doing the wrong thing what are you doing so you're ex you're extending and you're going flatter and it's the opposite on the other Well, no bloody wonder this happens. On the plus side, it looks like we do have enough... Um, hey, we've got enough power in the fuel cell at the very least.
I remember why this is such a pain in the ass now. Poseidon, hello! First of all, we need to work out why normal, normal, no, inverted normal. So that's inverted. Are you going to do the right thing? Yep. Are you going to do... I don't know why they're doing it like that, but apparently that's just the way they want to roll. I think what I'm going to do... is set to the main throttle. Okay. Then we are going to copy this. We got another one back here. Target angle. that copy across with the blades. Oh, are you been kidding me? Oh, it did. They're over there. Because of course they are. Because that is, is always the sensible position for them to be. Um, so this one's going clockwise. This one's going clockwise. So we need to remove them from symmetry. Actually. Because removing them from symmetry causes can cause us problems later down the line. We can't edit them as... Okay, so I'm going to save it. Then remove these from symmetry. And I can set these going clockwise. I can set these going counterclockwise. Uh, we can go 
of wheel throttle. Uh, translate forwards backwards. Target angle. Target angle. I'm not sure if this is going to work as I want it to. Do that A for asymmetry. Okay. Dan, hello! We are in quadcopter territory. I forgot to do a thing to turn the um, uh, turn the fuel cell on, didn't I? Right. Perfect. Nice. Try playing KSP with a HOTUS and it really worked. Ah. Did not work as well for me. Also, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to empty these out before we started, didn't I? That's why our centre of mass was so far off. So where is it at the moment? Let's just really... That's pretty much slap bang on, isn't it? So I think for the moment, Fluidize, hello. You're damn right we're burning a quadcopter. We, there we go, yep, we can uh, adjust that to our liking. Hey, look at it go. Don't know why it's quite insisting on dropping down a bit. Let's Okay, 
we're looking good now. What happens if I um, throttle all the way up? What happens if we engage? Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. Okay, so pressing 2 doesn't bring the additional power I thought it would. Just kind of screws it up a bit. Pretty manoeuvrable, though. Let's see, let's just start. Start bringing that level. Bring our landing gear down. The hell happened there? Yeah. Okay, so some teething problems. Not to worry too much, though. And this would set itself down, and once I've worked out how to do this properly. Target extension. Um, target angle. Target angle, these would all go on 120. Ah, oh, just be a bitch like that then. Um, target angle, and we can cover our curveballs as they're being rescued. Dark Dragon Rex Killer, hello to you. Hello, Lego Snake. I don't think I said hello to you yet. No weapon manager found. Oh, we've got to fix that quickly. Because we can't do anything with these actually while they're just like that, can we? Nope, can't do anything at all. How can they not get that... How can they, can they not get Dark Dragon Rex Killer? Right, so in here... We are going to need not whatever I clicked on there. Am I going to want an AI on this thing? And if so, which one? I think I think it's going to be if we're going to go in, we're going to have any problems. I think we're going to want 
Um, one of those. One of those. Um, what's the thing I needed to do? Nine toggle fuel cell. Okay. So this. That seems to be okay. Seems to be. Right. So uh, I've just if I just been putting I've just been putting stock kerbals in here. That's no good. Let's go from the bottom. Summity and Rengeance. A video of Success to Rescue a Kerbal from Guardi Crash Site. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm going for. In fact, what I was sort of going to um, experiment with a bit here. I think I'm going to need like a cal controller or something to um, to get that bit working. Oh, you see, some of them, some of them are going the right way now, and some of them aren't. Half of them are, half of them aren't. Oh, Jesus, why? Why would you do that? I think there is a way I can sort of sort that out, but regardless. What are you current RPM three ten? Okay, and quadcopter is a go. Engines on port. One of those. One of those. All right. On to aircraft. Oh, there we go.
In fact, I can probably have them coming back a bit. The actual F Should make sense we can call that a pinpoint landing. I sort of need to know turn that on. I see, sort of need to know exactly where on the throttle they're going to take off. What is our neutral point exactly? So there's two and a half notches, that's about three notches. Three and a bit, three and a half. And suddenly it really jumps, and I don't know why it does the jump. Put it down to three. Yeah, oh, it really does not like that. See we're on three there and that seems to be going absolutely fine. Let's start kicking the engines back a bit. Now these things should have enough power to keep us in the sky. Control wheels. You see, we're going up at the moment, and we don't want to be going up, we want to be going down. Maybe we're not really a, a completely um, maybe vertical landing isn't our thing with this craft.
Maybe more sort of the slow, the slow landing is our style. Uh, and we're getting a ground effect, aren't we? But at the very least, now we have a weapon manager. We can go and deploy my ridiculousness. And as I said, I'm going to have to like set up a cal controller for or something for this to get this working properly. And then these will swing out into their positions. And offer covering fire for the curb we're trying to rescue. Say if, for instance, like it like hello. Say a medium tank hoves into view suddenly. We won't make it. We won't make it a um, a fair fight just for the moment. But let's put guard mode on on the peregrine. Is managing to get three away at it. Oh, and it's gone already. Oh, no, not quite. Okay, that's pretty good. I suppose we could put max turret targets up to two as well. Okay, I am going to call that, I do hate it when medium tanks spawn themselves at me, especially vertically. <laughs> uh, okay, let's turn guard mode off, and we're on none. And then these would all turn back around and tuck themselves neatly into the cargo bay and everything would be hunky-dory. Like a parasol, so with less UV protection and more HE shells. Now make it use jets. <sighs> I don't know, the quadcopter was the original idea, and I. Hmm. <sighs> we also need. Not the toggle, but actually, that's the other thing. Standard rotor, standard rotor. I don't want the brakes to apply here for the standard rotor. I'm going to make five. We are going to use these for some flaps. Six toggle piston. Now I think what we're going to do is these for the flaps. Five. I 
I'm going to toggle the old bay doors, and then 6 will toggle the piston, and 7 will do the thing, and 9 will do something else. Right. Now, does anybody have the slightest clue how to use one of these things? <laughs> oh, God. So I'm assuming what we need to do is get something like number seven. Uh, toggle play. Play sequence. Open editor. Add fields to control via action groups. Target angle. Target angle. I have never messed about with the cal control before in my entire life. Ugh. But I think I might be able to get this to work. Target angle. And target angle. Hang on, oh god, I need to work out which is which. So we're currently dealing with this one. This one we want to go to minus 120. So we want to start on zero. to get to minus 120. As I said, I have never um, never played with around with these before at all. So if this works, it will be an absolute miracle. Rotation servo here. So that is going to want to go Zero. It's going to want to go to one twenty. I think. Which one was this one? That's that one over. There. Yes. So I want to go to this one. This one going to be okay. So this one was 120. It was 120. So this one needs to be um, zero to minus 120, I believe. Finally, 
this one. We'll need to go from zero. Um, two going down, so this one needs to go up. <laughs> oh. oh, that's beautiful. And then, so that's seven, eight. Toggle direction. Gravish 547, hello, if it's on close and reading, you're doing a shilling, KDR, oh boy, oh boy, just got back in time to see the craft go full sky net, no regrets. I am being... I am being buzzed a lot for some reason. Anything useful? Um, okay. Okay. Nothing really. Just a lot of messages all coming at once. So, seven should play that, but we've already played it. So, eight. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see that again. <laughs> Twice an accident, people. <laughs> Excellent. 21 likes, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, oh, God, we're 10 to 9. Uh, I think I, I, I haven't said it um, enough times today, so Super Chat is in there. you like to help support the channel that way? Or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, that are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal like I've been using here, but maybe not for that last one because I may have forgotten slightly. As well as your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon and your Discord, access to um, uh, everything upload to Patreon. This last two bit of work in progress. Is there one where you just says, we just 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 play secrets in reverse? Hang on, there is. There is a way you can do that. Oh, no, wrong one. Can this, does this go any higher? No, it does not go any higher.
slowness, slowness makes it more harmless. Kinda does. So you press the seven once, that doesn't work. Yeah, you need to do it twice the first time, and that gets you up to there, and then you just press seven. Six, five. Oh, <laughs> it is a thing of beauty. Okay. Oh, down we go. Oh, it's the ground effect, isn't it? That's what's causing that. It's the sodding ground effect mod. Ah! <laughs> when the blades get close to the ground, suddenly they've got a shed load more lift. That's what's causing that. And then one more time. Oh God, yeah, no, not you. Let's try that again. Let's try that again in one smooth motion so it, it looks more impressive. Right, ready. <laughs> this is so dumb. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I've only had to use it as part of Oh, God. Yeah, for this thing, I might have to. Uh, I might have to turn off the. Um, might have to turn off the ground effect mod because that really does screw with us a little bit when we're trying to. When we're trying to land, particularly. Uh, what we do need is if we're trying to rescue Kerbals. Um, I 
what we need is a way for them to get up and down relatively easily. I've got a ton of mods, so I can't see where the sodding ladders are. Let's go with the... Um, That's the wrong way up. So that gives them a way to climb up. I did put this sort of down here. just as a temporary measure but now I'm starting to wonder if, if, if it's worth it for the sort of like the anti tail strike insurance uh, I don't know what's the RCS of this thing Let's just say the standard radome. Detection 17 kilometers, locked tracked at 15 kilometers. I mean, that's not horrific. What just did, what about in standard flight? Seventeen and fifteen again. Do we want an action group for the ladders? We can maybe do an action group for the ladders. Particularly stealthy craft. Do we want that for the tail strike? As I said, the tail strike insurance. 23 likes, my god, thank you very much, everybody. Um, mm. What do we need to do? We need to just, I think, first of all, make sure this isn't kicking out any, any more radar signature than we technically need it to. I also, we need to do something with these. I don't know why, you know, I can get it like working in here and everything seems to be working fine with the d extra deployment thing, but the moment I take it outside and try and, try and um, use the deployment thing to uh, uh, target a few more things, suddenly it's it, it refuses to cooperate. Um, max turret targets, two. We're going to need some countermeasures. Uh, that's a cargo bay, isn't it? So I suppose probably best we just stick you... Um, ...on this bit here. And then flare launchers, obviously we want you coming out. Let's get just legacy parts. Flare launchers, we want you coming out just the one side. Uh, sort of more down and away from the craft.
and we need to clip you in a tiny bit. Okay, what's all this stuff doing to the center of mass? It's moved the center of back mass backwards slightly. Does that mean we can fit a little bit more fuel in? Not really. Like the tiniest amount of liquid fuel in there will keep it balanced. <sighs> oh, that'll do. Yeah, so... Control. Seven linear port RCS. Where are the little Could we use like little Vernier engines to control this a bit more? on descent. Because it has a tendency to go a bit nose forward. Maybe actually you'd be better off up here. Maybe we could do Same trick they did on the Harrier. Have a couple on there like that. I'm sure you need flares with those props. Spare ammo for the guns? Yeah, that's that's also a good point. But I think that's that's uh, that sort of spit and polish stuff. For the moment, I think we've got something pretty. I was about to say something pretty special. We don't have something pretty special at all. It's <laughs> well, kind of. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get this one going. Um, And we're off. Okay.
Oh, oh. Crap. Forgot to start the, um... Forgot to start the old, uh, thingamajigs. The, uh, the, um... Oops. Oh my god. Forgot to start the old, uh, the old fuel cells. Oh god. Where are we going to try parking ourselves? Because this thing needs to be able to come into land. Ouch! Okay, work needed on that. However, one area I'm pretty happy with Oh my god, I can get all four on that. Come on. You know you want to. Yay! I can actually get all four on this building. Oh, that's beautiful. I can only get two. Oh, there we got all four. Right. Okay, and our Kerbal's run up. So as all this is going on, we're just, you know, as we're just blatting everything with some, um, with some gunfire. Our kerbals run up, hop up on here, climb aboard. We uh, toggle the ladder. I thought I said toggle the ladder, not extend the ladder. I thought, ah, uh, okay, apparently I put that to extend ladder, not toggle ladder. Um, yep, some finer gunfire to suppress any defenses. Uh, turn that off. Stow all this. Fire up the engines. Gear away. Landing thrusters off. Staying low to the ground to avoid enemy radar and we make our escape. Nice! Defense all grounded and long just for the engines but otherwise a solid piece of work. How are we doing fuel? We're doing pretty well with the fuel. I don't know how else we can work this. Yep. Not down there. Oh, 
I don't know, maybe like drop tanks on the wings or something. feasible would it be to uh, to turn this sort of into a water landing craft? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't the right one. Is it four? Three. Three I did for the flaps. Module wheel baits cannot deploy. We're going to come in for short landing. I should have lined this up a bit better beforehand. Yeah, if I'd lined that up a bit better and sort of sorted it out, could have probably gotten a lot better, um, um, a lot more accurate a landing. What was using the UFO Monty to make an Africa car rescue craft now? Right, I think that was pretty well, but I'm going to have to go now because it's quarter past nine and um, I keep getting buzzed. Yep, and the most recent one was the, uh, was my lovely wife asking me if she can have my assistance when I'm done. But okay, I think, I don't know whether I'm going to do another one on this one. Because, I mean, it does need some, as I said, it just one more time. fuel tank over there. Kind of difficult to hit. Yeah, this craft is not the most stable gun platform for the ground, but uh, wow, I thought we were getting enough hits on that to be able to like take it down. Apparently not. we get like the flag over there or the little fuel tank <laughs> look at the way that thing dances about uh, next Sunday uh, mailbag stream and then on the hopefully some point during that weekend the video I've been trying to get out for ages until then though thanks for watching take care and I'll see you next time